I want to talk about these running backs in the rotation that you've seen, and if anybody stood out. It seems like training camp started with where they left off. You had Elijah Mitchell, then you got um, Jeff Wilson, then you got Hasty, then Sermon, and then the rookies. Has anybody kind of jumped out to you or stood out to you, whether through drills, rotations, pass pro, anything? Mm -hmm. So running backs have been uh, one of my lesser focuses, but I've seen them a, a solid amount still. Elijah Mitchell obviously is the one. You see guys like uh, TDP and Trey Sermon right now, it seems like we'll be battling for that two spot. One guy, in my opinion, on the downtrend and one guy on the uptrend is what I'm looking at right now. The downtrend Ooh. right now is Jeff Wilson Jr. He didn't look that good. He looks a little slower this year starting off. And this was yesterday. It's Again, like we said, all of this is prefaced with a grain of salt because it's the beginning. But he did look slower yesterday, and I don't know if he's just got that it factor right now for the 49ers. The guy on the uptrend, a guy we both like, undrafted free agent Jordan Mason. Jordan Mason, has he's just been treating training camp like it's just regular practice. He's running physically. He's strong, and he's pretty quick too. Um, you could just see it. He wants it. He is like in the in the carries that they had during scrimmage session. He's just running through these linebackers, even though all they can do is touch him. And then the other play that he had a nice 10 yard catch on a comeback route yesterday from Nate Sudfeld. And he was pretty shifty after the catch too. Uh, went down, avoided a tackle and just ran. Although, again, take that with a grain of salt. Pretty nice. Yeah, I, I like that kid. I like that kid a lot. Now, I'm not sure he makes the 53. He's going to need some help with injuries or something along those lines, which you never hope for those. But I don't care if he makes the 53. He just needs to make the practice squad, and we all know what happens to running backs and for the 49ers. They're going to miss time, and he's going to get his chance to be called up, and he's going to play a role. There's, I, I just really hope that we get to keep him in the system. That's really all that I want. Uh, eventually, some part this year, this dude's going to play a major factor. Not not just like, all right, he's going to get a couple carries. No, I'm telling you right now, he has the makings to be a Kyle Shanahan guy. Um, you know, not that it's going to happen like last year where you had Sermon, the third round pick, and Elijah Mitchell shoot up past him. You got TDP this year, the third round pick, and, and Mason. I don't think it's going to be like that. But at the same time, I strongly consider him getting some starting work towards the end of the year. I really, really do. Not over uh, Eli Mitchell, but I'm just saying if the opportunity presents itself, I think he could be that first, second down guy that Shanahan loves. Yeah, I think so too. And you talk about some of those guys, right? Trey Sermon, in my opinion, I know a, a couple of others have differed, said Trey Sermon hasn't necessarily looked that good yet. I actually thought Trey Sermon looked fine. His cuts have been looking pretty, pretty nice. Um, I'm going to see – can he can he not fumble the football? That's the first thing because he's mm -hmm. one of the smaller running backs on the team alongside Hasty. Just because another a lot of those guys are bulked up um, with Mitchell included, and can he also uh, is that vision nice? Can he can he uh, navigate uh, on the outside runs? Can he navigate on the inside runs? Can he not try and overuse his ability to cut uh, and instead just run be a downhill runner? That's something that I'm looking for from Sermon um, because really that. Uh, the answers to those questions will distinguish whether it's him or Tyree Davis-Price who gets a majority of the reps at running back number two.